You're looking live at Launchpad 6, Site 31 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, where Soyuz 2.1A booster rocket stands ready to launch an unpiloted Russian resupply cargo spacecraft carrying almost three tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the multinational Expedition 68 crew aboard the International Space Station. Good morning from Mission Control Houston. In the International Space Station Flight Control Room, bring you live coverage this morning of the launch of the Russian Progress 83 cargo spacecraft set to lift off at 12.15 and 36 seconds a.m. Central Time, 11.15 and 36 seconds a.m. Baikonur Time. Progress once launched is set for a two-day 34 orbit journey to the International Space Station where it will automatically dock to the Svesta service module on the aft or the back end of the station's Russian segment Saturday, February 11th at 2.49 a.m. Central Time, 3.49 a.m. Eastern Time. Launch command has been issued. Second umbilical tower separated. And we have liftoff. Liftoff of Progress 83, the next vehicle in the supply chain to the International Space Station. Good roll, pitch and yaw program reported from Baikonur. Good pitch, row and rotation, nominal, being reported from Baikonur. First stage separation confirmed. The four strap-on boosters have completed their job and dropped away at 29 miles in altitude. Second stage engine is up and burning. This will be about 2 minutes and 39 seconds of st second stage performance. And we have second stage shutdown and separation. Second Third stage engine is up and running, everything looking good. Now traveling just over 9,500 miles per hour and 100 miles in altitude at the five minute mark into the flight. Third stage shutdown confirmed, and the spacecraft separation confirmed. Next step will be the deployment of the solar arrays and navigational antennas on Progress 83. And we just got a view of the arrays deploying. The Progress 83 resupply spacecraft now officially in its preliminary orbit, which begins its two-day journey to the International Space Station to deliver about three tons of cargo. We are now getting our first view 
from an external camera on the Progress 83. This is the first test of the telemetry stream you see on your screen. Now from the Progress 83 back to the control center in Koryov, where the Russian flight controllers now begin their work to follow the journey of the Progress 83 to the International Space Station.